It happened. Nuclear diamond batteries finally hit the market. Infinite power. Infinite energy. Oh god, I feel like Doctor Strange. Okay, so what if I tell you that nuclear waste is actually a useful thing? Would you believe me? Hmm, you know guys, you have to believe me, because it's true. Yeah, nuclear waste can be used to create batteries. Isn't that insane? And guess what? These batteries could last for thousands of years, as much as 28,000 as a matter of fact. That means that even future generations can use these batteries. That would be a valuable generation-to-generation -generation gift for a family. What do you guys think? Welcome to eMotion. In today's video, you'll get to know all the details about nuclear diamond batteries, so make sure to watch the video till the end. We have an inexhaustible need for a supply of energy. If we need to use anything that can be connected, electricity will have to come out of the battery, and the search for a better battery is being introduced in nuclear reactors around the world. Hold that thought for a moment. Nuclear waste is radioactive waste produced by nuclear power plants that no one wants to be kept close to their homes or transferred to their communities. Nuclear waste is considered evil, poisonous, and deadly, and it takes thousands of years for it to disintegrate, and we continue to produce very much of it. But now, a California-based business, the NDB, says it can solve both problems. They say they've built a 28,000-year-old battery, or you can say trash-powered battery, that makes it ideal for your future electric car or iPhone. Instead of storing the energy generated elsewhere, the battery generates itself for charging. It's made of two types of nanodiamonds, which make it almost indestructible when used in cars or other moving objects. In addition, the business claims that its battery is safer as it emits less radiation than the human body. The NDB has already created conceptual evidence and it intends to build its first commercial model when its laboratories resume operations after the outbreak of COVID. The nuclear waste that the NDB intends to build its batteries from contains parts of the reactor that have turned into radiation due to the exposure of the fuel resources of the nuclear power plant. Although this potentially fuel-efficient waste can be considered highly toxic and the nuclear facility produces a lot of it, the International Atomic Energy Agency estimates that the core of a typical graphite-moderated reactor may contain up to 2,000 tons of graphite. A ton equals one metric ton, or about 2,205 pounds. Carbon-14 is a radioisotope found in graphite. It's the same radioisotope used by archaeologists for carbon dating. It has the lifespan of 5,730 years and retains it into 14 nitrogen, antineutrino, and beta decay electron, a charge that has aroused the curiosity of the NDB as a potential source of electricity. The NDB refines graphite and converts it into smaller diamonds. The business says that using current technology, they've made their own small carbon-14 diamonds to produce more electricity. Diamonds also act as a semiconductor, absorbing energy and dissolving them in a heat sink. However, as they're still emitting radiation, the NDB is shutting down small-scale nuclear power plants on some low-cost, non-radioactive carbon-12 diamonds. These glossy lab-shaped shells provide strong diamond protection while containing carbon-14 diamonds. The NDA aims to make batteries of various sizes, including AA, AAA, 18650, and 2170. Each battery will have multiple layers of diamonds stacked, as well as a small circuit board and supercapacitor for power collection, storage, and extrication. The final result? A battery that will last a very long time. According to the NDB, the battery can live up to 28,000 years if used in a low-power environment, such as a satellite sensor. They predict a useful lifespan of 90 years as a car battery, much longer than any human car. A business believes that one battery can power a pair of wheels after another. For consumer gadgets such as phones and tablets, the company estimates that the battery will last for about nine years. Let's understand this concept with an example. Just think of the iPhone with a battery of the same size. Imagine a world where you don't have to recharge your batteries all day long. Now think of a week, a month, how about decades? That's what this technology can do. The NDB expects to sell the low-power version in a few years, followed by the high-power version in about five years. If all goes according to plan, the NDB technology will represent an important step forward in terms of delivering affordable, long-term energy to electronics and automotive vehicles. The company said that this technology can start off the scale and move up to satellite and powertrains. In addition, the business expects its batteries to have the same value as existing batteries, including lithium-ion, 
and perhaps even cheaper. After the production of nuclear waste that could pay the company to take care of their toxic matter, the garbage of one business becomes the diamonds of another. But will these nuclear waste batteries be safe to use? The Nano Diamond battery says the radiation battery is completely safe for humans and hopes to begin selling the battery to its commercial partners, including aviation agencies and long-term missions, within the next two years. The company also operates a consumer battery version that can power a smartphone or electric car for more than a decade without charge. This not only saves the hassle of recharging our equipment, but also holds the key to the natural effects of battery production and disposal. Because it's made from nuclear waste, this is a nuclear battery. Although the energy of the radioactive material is reduced, that radiation will continue for thousands of years, just as there's the effect of radioactivity after the Chernobyl accident. As a result, radiation is a source of energy for this nuclear battery. The Nano Diamond battery is a powerful diamond-emitting battery that can provide long-term power for a variety of applications in addition to lithium-ion batteries, gasoline, and so on. Chemical vapor deposition is used to build a nano diamond battery. Diamonds are used because they're a very heavy material, a source of radiation, and especially a semiconductor. The NDB acts as a nuclear reactor. The battery is powered by a high-performance radioisotope and a multi-layer radioisotope of synthetic diamonds. The nano diamond battery, also known as the beta voltaic battery, works and generates energy as long as it's in a radioactive environment and receives beta radiation from radioactive isotopes such as carbon-14 and nickel-63. The strength of a nano diamond battery is because of radioactive life. According to the NDB official website, the diamond battery incorporates a sophisticated safety system that addresses at least three key safety areas. First, Polycrystalline diamond encapsulation can block isotope radiation while also protecting it from foreign invasion. Heat holes will also be installed in the diamond battery to help control thermal conductivity within the device. In addition, the NDB will use a single boron-doped crystal diamond to enhance the use of neutrons by converting additional neutrons into alpha rays. Additionally, a diamond battery will use an ion-injected method to prevent the nuclear proliferation caused by the production of non-volatile isotopes. This technology also ensures that the diamond battery is used for power generation only. The battery is powered by radioactive waste graphite used in nuclear-cooled nuclear atoms covered with nano-thin layers, a single glossy diamond which acts as both a semiconductor and a heatsink. Each unit will contain one crystalline diamond that absorbs energy from isotopes. Diamonds are now rare and have a very high energy conductivity, which means they quickly transfer heat from radioactive graphite and the work is so fast that it produces electricity. Diamond layers prevent radiation leaks. The NDB even states that the levels of radiation emitted by cells will be lower than those emitted by the human body, which simply means it'll be safe for humans to use, so you don't have to worry anymore about the health issue. Where can nanodiamond batteries prove to be useful? Firstly, it could prove useful in the automotive sector. This battery can revolutionize the world of electric vehicles. The researchers believe that the technology will benefit the electric car industry because of its great length and efficiency, unlike other existing batteries. It can also prove good to use in medical technologies. These batteries can make a significant contribution to medical devices, especially for implants, for example, pacemakers and hearing aids. Nanodiamond batteries can also be useful for the aerospace industry. Recent advances in space technology include the development of an electric aircraft that has created the need for longer and safer batteries. Aerial vehicles and satellites are currently supported by solar energy, which is underground in a stable atmosphere. The NDB powers long-term power planes, drones, and space stations. The use of the NDB can also power common electronic devices such as laptops and smartphones. There will be no need to charge those devices regularly. The NDB states that the use of their product will benefit consumers by providing them with independent electronic devices and increasing the computer's own quantum computing power and integration capabilities. The future of nanodiamond batteries has immense possibilities on its own. As our daily lives depend heavily on portable battery-powered devices, there is a rapid increase in demand for efficient and expensive batteries. Regular batteries have a number of concerns, including global warming and the accumulation of garbage. Nanodiamond batteries overcome these limitations of standard batteries with long life and widespread applications. This technology could be the solution to the global energy crisis. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. 
So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.